All right, Jinx, we're here. Uh, Queen of Lions, can I ask you a question? What is it, Jinx? Why are we at this, uh, place? It's called a fun fair, Jinx. A fun fair? Well, this looks pretty interesting. What is a fun fair? It's kind of like a little... It's kind of like a theme park, but it's just only there for a limited amount of time. Now, this fun fair is basically you can do any fun things. They've got at least some parks. Like, they've got a lot of stuff you can actually look at if you, um, want. Hmm. Never heard of this theme fun park. Of course, it's a fun park. Well, it's a fun fair, Jinx. They have some rides. They have some games. Kind of like how, you know, fun fairs do. Hmm, I really have to say, this actually sounds, um, interesting a lot enough, but what are we doing here? We're going to have some fun, Jinx. Now, I'm going to ask you pretty nicely, and this is, I'm only going to say this once. This, you better listen to me on this, because I obviously almost didn't bring you, because I obviously cannot trust you. Why are you so butthurt over that? Because last time, Jinx, you actually tried to get me in trouble. What was that? <sighs> what if I remind you the last time when I left you home alone? You actually invited a bunch of people here? Well, that was just... I don't want to hear it, Jinx. Now, when we go to the fun fair, you are going to listen to me. I do not want you to trash down this, this fun fair like last year. Last year, you actually destroyed it with alone with Patrick's help. And Patrick Star's not here, so you get to be with me. And besides that, we're doing how I want it. And if you don't like it, I'm going to have to call Boris to get you home. All right, all right. Jeez. Where can we go first? How about we get our tickets and then we will decide where to go? All right. It looks like we are, um, well, in. I got us tickets, so yeah. How many tickets did you get? I got a hundred because I won the lottery, Jinx. Oh, do you mean free hundred? Yeah, free hundred tickets. That was like crazy expensive. So anyway, Jinx, what we're going to do here is we're going to go on certain rides that we want. We could play certain games. And yeah, but I want you to listen to me. I want you to behave yourself. I do not want you to misbehave in this place, like I said earlier. What are you going to do about it if I do? Well... It's obvious, Jinx, that you're going to be in big trouble if you don't listen. You know, I will call Boris and he will come here and he will give you a punishment day just like how we did with Patrick. Oh, wow. Why are you so butthurt? <sighs> okay. Anyways, I think we should go... Uh, where should we go first? Oh, I know. We should go ride the swings. The swings? Are you serious? Yeah, it's one of the biggest fun theme fun parks places ever. Okay, I guess we can go on that ride. All right, Jinx, we're on this little ride right here, so here we go. Woohoo! Oh, it looks scary. I'm going high and then going low. Oh, Jinx, you'll be fine. It's not a problem. We can do this. Woohoo! A few moments later. Oh, wow, that was a lot of fun, Jinx. Did you enjoy that? Can I pick what we should do? Fine, Jinx, you could pick. Let's go play a game. All right, Jinx, I guess we can go and play a game. But do not go crazy, though, when you lose. Because the last time you did, you were pretty mad. I am not going to lie. You were really, really, really angry. The last time we lost at a game. When was even that? Uh, mind and I mind you that you destroyed my um, Xbox One. And then you had to use your allowance to pay for another one. Oh yeah. Can I trust you to play the game without throwing a tantrum when you lose? Okay. I'll try not to throw a tantrum. Yes. But if you throw a meltdown, Jinx. I am calling Boris Anderson to take you home. So he'll give you a punishment day if you do. All right. Can we play the balloon dart? Well, I guess we could play balloon dart. I haven't played those in a long time. It's actually pretty fun. Okay. 
Hey, ma'am, what can I get you? Um, uh, can I play, can we play at least a few darts? How does the game work? Well, it's about three bucks for free darts, five for ten. So if you can get, pop the balloons as much as you can, you will win a prize. Okay, uh, my friend wants to play. Let me put in five bucks for you, Jinx. Can we play again after? We'll see if you win, okay? Now, Jinx, I am going to be showing you a demonstration. Hey, I'll take, uh, I'll, I'll take at least ten darts as well so I can gain two. All right, ma'ams, you're all set to go. What is that person working here? He looks weird. Jinx, I told you not to gossip. Okay, so how this game works is you see these darts, you throw it at the balloons, and you pop as many as you can. If you pop as much as you can, you win a prize. Now, I'm gonna throw a few. A few moments later. See how I got a Pikachu Chew prize? That's how you get it. You see all the balloons that I popped with the darts? Uh, yeah. I want you to try and do that, okay? Okay. Now I'll be right back, Jinx. I just gotta use the bathroom. Hmm. How about I pop all the balloons and cheat? Phew. Well, let me see. <laughs> I'm gonna pop all the balloons. Uh, the net a few moments later. Jinx, why did you pop the balloons? And how come you didn't get a prize? Did you waste all my money on it? No, I used my powers. Ugh. Jinx, that is not how you play a game. That's not how you win. You can't use your powers and pop all the balloons with them. You have to use the darts, not your powers. Now, thanks to you, this guy won't let you game and play anymore. Yeah, take your girl and get out before I call the cops. Okay, okay, jeez. <sighs> Jinx, you know you can't be doing this. And if I told you, if you misbehave here, I am calling Boris. Oh, great. I was just only wanting to play. Well, let me find you a different game that you can play without using your powers, okay? All right. All right, Jinx, here's another game that I think you'll like. This is called Rising Waters. How does it work? Well, you see those teddy bears? Now you have this gun and you have to shoot the water into this, this little dart target right in front of us. And the little thing will go up. If yours reach to the top, you win a prize. How about we game you and I? It looks like these four people are gonna game too, so we'll join in with them. All right, how do I win? You see that little target you're supposed to shoot? You shoot the water there, and then that little dart that says you, which is, I think it's a bear or a clown or something, and it will go up. Once yours reach to the top, you win a prize. However, it is only, well, one person will win. All right. Hey, sir, we'll play a game. All right. Now, any of you guys get up to the top, wins a prize. All right. Let's see if we can beat these four people right here. Yeah, let's do it. A few minutes later. Yes, I won! Jinx, no, I won. And I got a little bear. Hey, I wanted to win! Jinx, remember what I told you about being a spoiled brat? I want to win! Jinx, I know you're pretty frustrated and you're upset, but I promise you could win another game. Maybe we should take a break from winning games for now. <sighs> I want to win, Jinx. <sighs> Look, I'll let you play again with maybe another group of people. I will go on another ride. And if I see you destroying this place again over losing a game like you did last year, you are going straight home and Boris Anderson is going to be called and you're going to be grounded. All right, all right. All right, looks like I'm on the carousel. Well, I guess I can go on to Carousel. Oh, I wonder how Jinx is doing. I hope she's, you know, not throwing a meltdown like she did last time. Like, I'm gonna be completely honest. That was just not that cool. Alright, I'm gonna get on this horse and I'm gonna, well, do this little fun ride. And I gotta make sure Jinx is not gonna, you know, do anything. I sure hope she behaves herself. Otherwise, Boris is going to be around to ground her. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. That is going to be something. 
a few moments later. Oh, that ride was fun. Hey, Jinx, I see you got a big bear. Yeah, it took me about four tries because some people did and I kind of had a meltdown. <sighs> you better, you weren't destroying anything, were you? I didn't want to get grounded by Boris, so I didn't do it. Good. I hope you apologized. Yeah, I did. Well, Jinx, do you think we should go on a fair at the Ferris wheel? I think we should really go on that ride. Well, I guess so. I guess we can go. And then after that, we can go for lunch. How about that? All right. That works pretty well. So, Queen of Lions, is this called the Ferris wheel? Yeah, it is called the Ferris wheel, Jinx. You ride on the Ferris wheel and you go up the top and you can see everybody from up there. Are you sure? Yes, Jinx. It's pretty fun and don't worry, it is safe. It says don't rock the seat, so we can't rock the seat. Now, let's get in and we will, well, we'll enjoy the view. All right, up we go. Wow, this looks actually pretty neat, isn't it, Jinx? Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I really do like it. Well, I'm glad you like it, Jinx. Look at that. Now we're going to go down and then up and down again. Woohoo! <laughs> you scared of heights? Well, not in this ride because I know you, it's safe. Well, it is a safe ride. Of course, the people there make sure your ride is safe. So, we're going to go up and down. Whee! This is a lot of fun. A few moments later... Wow, that was pretty fun. I really do enjoy that, that Queen of Lions. Well, Jinx, that was actually pretty fun, too. I think we should get something to eat. I'm getting kind of hungry. What about you? Yeah, I'm getting kind of hungry, too. This ride was a lot of fun, though. All right, let's go to what seemed to be a place where we can get some food. I heard this place right here. Here really gives you some hot dogs and there's some hamburgers. All that, kind of like at the circus. Oh, I remember. What are you going to have, Queen of Lions? Well, I think I'm going to have a hot dog with, with some french fries. And you can I can share. Well, it looks pretty good to eat. Yeah, Jinx, now let me go pay for this. Go find me a table and don't wander off in this fair. This fair is pretty big and yeah. This fair is pretty big and I don't want you to get lost. Okay. Okay, now I got my food. Let's just see. Jinx? Jinx, where did you go? <sighs> where did she run off to? I hope she didn't sat there and, you know, destroyed something. Let's see. Jinx? Jinx? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Are you the one with, well, a guardian or something of a, um, a girl wearing with pink hair and snake-like eyes? Uh, well, yes, I am. Why is that? sir because uh she kind of went and raided for the ice cream and you know ate all the ice cream <sighs> jinx i knew she was gonna do this oh thank you for telling me jinx jinx where are you 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 little sneak now you are coming home i am very getting very sick and tired of you jinx Jinx! Oh, there's the ice cream machine. Jinx! Jinx! What the hell did you just do? Oh, hi, Queen of Lions. I wanted some ice cream, but I didn't have any money. So I scared people off of my powers, threatening to kill them. <laughs> Jinx, you know that that's not a good way to go. I have no choice because you're getting kicked out of the fair. Oh, and I saw Shadow Reader right there, and I also called Boris and told him about it. And since Shadow Reader is there, he even had to put Patrick in a punishment day because Boris caught Patrick sneaking diarrhea in the ice cream machine about a fervor down, down the left. Oh no, why do you have to get Boris to ground me? Because, Jinx, you deserve what you for what you did what you did. Oh, whoa, 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 Jinx, how dare you destroy the ice cream booth? That's it. You are going back to the Queen of Lions' house, and you're going back to your room, where you will also be getting a punishment day. 
No! Not a punishment day! Please, Boris, anything but that! Too bad, Jinx. That's what you get, and you should have thought about that before you did what you did. <sighs> well, Jinx is going to be taken care of. Now, when I get home, Jinx, you are going to be punished by me a lot more. <laughs> now I get some peace and quiet. I can enjoy the rest of my day at the fair without Jinx causing trouble. <laughs>